Welcome you Capricorns. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the Psychic Love Reading for the month of November 2019. I want to say thank you for returning and for your positive energy vibration. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, because it's winter. My hair gets very staticky. Okay, Capricorns. What's in the the love for Capricorns. So we're calling up on the angels of love, Capricorns, please. Um, check out the mystical ooh, dating. Ah, Capricorns. Alright, I have the things with my angels and guides, and the universe is just so open. And um, I I it's it's now it's getting towards the mystical. Um, time so go check out your mystical reading because your mystical reading actually tells you what is going on um, from the 31st of October until the 31st of March is really mystical it is the time that you can basically um, it's a time when you can um, just basically um, I don't know if this really works it's a time no where um you can i have no ideas ladies and gentlemen but it's a time when you can um basically connect with your spirit guides and angel and this is so wonderful there's a lot of gossip around you capricorn so be aware of that there is just so much bloody gossip around you i don't know why people gossip but anyway so there's a lot of gossip around you um there's a lot of people speaking about you a lot of gossip around you so you got to be careful. But what you have here is that um, it's going to be a month of dating. So a lot of you are going to be going out on dates. However, that implies to you and however that is, a lot of you are going to be going on dates. So, so again, Capricorns, what I'm trying um, basically to do. Okay, I have the lights on. I don't know. Um um what exactly um we're trying to do is to let people understand what are good time of the year to i actually manifest and learn to manifest things in your life um i got one of the most beautiful decks and i did the mystical readings thanks again to a very good friend Didi. um i know you're listening thanks again um so i did the mystical so go check it out it is free um it is um a free mess for halloween because normally i wanted to go live but i choose not to go live um because so capricorns let's see what's coming up for the capricorns in the month of november for love so we're calling in on the angels of love universal angel archangel annual archangel raphael all the angel of love archangel shamuel and all the legions of angel the cubic angels um cupics uh, to come in and check out what exactly is going on for the capricorn so we know that a lot of you capricorns are going out on dates this is going to be happening this is the center of what is happening i'm seeing young females Whoever you young females are, you got to be aware, okay? Because uh, um, some of you are playing some games that is a love triangle for the young females. So I am seeing a lot of you young females um, between the ages of 25 and 35 are ending up in these love triangles, okay? There is another person. It could be same sex. And there is another person that is... Um, in this love triangle it could be someone that you know it could be someone who knows you um so you got to be aware of what is exactly happening okay i'm seeing a lot of datings you young female or a, a lot of dating so i'm seeing young people under the age of 25 you gotta be careful because you're in these love triangles and you're seeing a lot of people okay so if you're under 25 so it's 18 to 25 years, okay? Very immature person um, who lives with their parents. You gotta be, be careful, okay? You gotta be careful because 
there is um you're in a love triangle so there is a lot of influence that is going on in your life relationship sharing love interests with other people family and friends you know that's like being with married men and uh, um being with people that is in other relationship now we have the burnet female okay we have the burnet female and this is always a dark ear female person okay um you know very significant person in some of you lives she's coming up because she could be the other person in the relationship so it's um it's just the dark hair female um yeah there's a lot of dark hair female i know but it says burnet okay uh and this woman is the other um person so this is someone who is basically an adult say 25 between the age of 25 and 35 or it could be in your same age group so you gotta be careful you capricorns okay you gotta be careful I am seeing children coming up children is going to play a significant role I am seeing that some of you young people could be getting pregnant okay so some of you young um, um, people could be getting pregnant so a lot of dating love triangles people under 25 I'm seeing a lot of dating dating king and queens is coming up I'm seeing the burnets are dating a lot so um a lot of um people um 25 and older between 25 and 45 is all dating that's all coming up i'm seeing you younger women having a lot of fun young women and men having a lot of fun but i'm seeing children that is here how are these children i am seeing that some of you are going to be um child custody battle some of you are going to be finding out about the other person in your relationship okay you're going to be finding out about the other person in your relationship and i'm seeing union coming up so some of you might be thinking or planning to get married or going to be offered the ends of marriage wow ladies and gentlemen okay so cappy 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 Alrighty, I'm gonna change up this monthly reading and some people are going to say yeah but you didn't do that for us but I gotta do it because yesterday I was supposed to do it I didn't get towards it um there is oh la la Cappy oh my god Cappy you always always Cappy okay so I have this beautiful deck and not a lot of people can use this deck um it is um you guys can't read it but it's, it's a love deck it's a German love deck okay um it's a German love deck I love using it because it is just so powerful um in the sense that it tells you where and who is affecting your love life it's just one of those really nice powerful um decks i'm supposed to use it since i come home i was supposed to use this deck but i haven't used it since i come home so i was guided by my guides um to use it for you guys because i i was doing the reading last night and and, and then i thought okay i'll just um catch up today finish off um, doing the readings for the Capricorn and then move forward so Capricorns these are really small cards but they just say like a lot what is going on I love these um, they are in actually Dutch so okay but I will I, I will just but there's just so beautiful because um they they have so much that is going on so okay the young females okay the young females and i am guided to do it at the side okay so the young females what is happening let's check out what is happening so we have the sun and the moon where there is uh, venus in the moon yeah because yin and yin so that could be a same-sex relationship and this is why i love using this card because it actually tells you and inspire you and let you know 
what exactly is happening what exactly is transpiring okay so there we go okay so what we have is venus and mercury there is no communication in love in this month whatever is transpiring some of you are missing the communication in your love life so whatever is transpiring there is some communication that is missing in the love life there is no communication all right so that is in the reverse okay so what we're looking at here oh seriously okay I got it I got it ladies and gentlemen I got it all right so somebody just don't want me to do this reading. <laughs> anyway ladies and gentlemen let's move on so what we're seeing is venus the moon yin and yang so this love triangle it could be same sex that is going on with this love triangle because remember these two lady comes out so this love triangle is definitely same sex love triangle that is going on for you capricorns okay venus in mars is when um venus in mars is 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 very beautiful but this is definitely the same sex relationship then we have the drifter and some of you burn it women or drifters where you you're in relationship you're looking for a relationship you can't find a relationship you keep on skipping and skipping and skipping now for the daters we have jupiter uh, Venus and Neptune so what is going to be happening to the people who are dating and the people who are on the dating market is that Jupiter and Venus you are going to be meeting the love of your life okay so with this dating is when when whenever Jupiter you're going to be having luck in love so the people who are dating you're going to be meeting the right person let's say that then um venus and the moon venus and the moon comes up where there is a cancer venus and the moon a union okay vince de Dinka, that betaken that some of you your wishes and dreams about getting married is going to be happening so whatever is transpiring your wishes and dreams about getting married is going to be happening so um this is perfect because this is what is coming out then we have mars and the moon mars and the moon is basically sagittarian um sagittarian and the aries okay so this is definitely this could be that some of you are planning on getting divorced or divorce is going to be coming in so you gotta be aware of what is happening and what is transpiring around you so some of you could be really um halatin height is uh, um yeah divorce okay so um whatever is happening and transpiring um we are definitely seeing this energy that is coming up so you got to be clear and you got to be aware of what is happening and transpiring so we're seeing fun times where mars and venus is meeting up so with those fun times we're seeing people meeting each other so through connecting through you know going out there connecting with other people so mars and venus is here with a fun time and this is good because mars is um actually mars is a planet of art working but it's on mutane so um a lot of you are going out having fun times and meeting new people um in this time and this is going to be good oh my god this is just so so brilliant so we have the energy with the children and some of you are inspired by wanting to have kids but is that going to be happen so that is one of the stuff that you guys are going to be inspired um, about your kids because what we're seeing here is that jupiter in mercury is that you um if you are in a relationship with someone you are married with someone you are talking about having kids with that person and sharing your life with that person by having a kid with that person so um this is good for some of you so um really wonderful energy jupiter in um in mercury is about you know communicating that you want to have kids and whatever is happening you really definitely want to have kids now um mars and the moon because we have mars and venus mars and the moon again we have mars and the moon and this is uh, cloud of thought 
and Mars and the moon when this comes up is 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 um it is the sense of you dating 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 but not coming up with anything significant okay so you're dating 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 not coming up with anything significant so i'm seeing a lot of data crowdfoot going on but not coming up with anything very very significant okay so with the marriage some message come out here definitely people oh yeah new love is coming in and people want to get married so and it came it fell out on the marriage it fell out on the marriage that a lot of people are going to be getting married planning to get married offer offer marriage is coming up so a lot of people getting married planning to get married and the offer of marriage is going to be coming up okay so 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 this is good this is good so new love is definitely coming in and whatever is happening and transpiring this is absolutely good because um if you have met someone lately um i'm seeing a new love coming in these are and this this whoever is coming in wants to get married okay whoever is coming in wants to get married okay let's check out the young female and these are the young female the red eggs um well they are under 25 years and older so it's between the ages of 18 and 25 what's coming out for these young ladies okay what's coming out for these young ladies okay so we see all right okay so what is happening for you um young people whether male or female under the age of um 25 and younger this is for people 25 and younger i am seeing that you want to move forward you want to move forward you have a lot of options and you want to move forward but one person is going to come for it okay so whatever is happening for the people um the young people 45 years and younger what is happening is that as you can see you want to move forward some of you could be spying on someone you need to let it go okay if the relationship is over let it go there is many many more option and one person is going to come forward and offer their um love and affection okay because it is that you're rumbling in other people relationships some of you are um connected with people who are in marriage or in other relationship there is a lot of um a wood in the fire for you younger people whatever is transpiring nine woods you gotta be careful what you're doing because uh, um, some of you, your um, whoever you're in a relationship with, their partner is watching and knowing who you are. A message is coming. Choose one of these people. There is a lot you have to choose from. Someone wants to choose and settle down with you. Do that because you are overall checking out everything, smelling, feeling everything. You gotta be careful what you're doing, young people out there. Okay, because I'm seeing. That some of you, whoever you, some of you are in a relationship with a married person and um, the wife knows what is going on. So you got to be careful, okay? All right, let's see the same sex relationship and the love triangles that is happening. It's Venus and Mars, yin, yin. So this is a same sex relationship. So this is for the same sex relationship, people. What is happening? what is happening for these same sex relation i'm seeing communication i'm seeing they're connecting and oh that is what they want so i <laughs> so okay so we have some love triangles going on and it's venus and mars it's a yin yin so it's a same sex relationship so for the same sex relationship i see that some of you in the same sex relationship what is definitely going to be happening let's let's break this down you are all communicating and you realize 
this is what you want to do this is the place that you want to be with you want to be in this third party or the same sex relationship with another third party you're happy with where you are the nine of cups is here you're happy with the persons you're in this network this collaboration with and you're happy so you know enjoy and and this is what i said you know every you can we can all tell you what to do if you are quite happy in this relationship which you see the nine of cups your wishes and dreams because communication is key some of you are choosing to be in um love triangles you are accepted that your partner is is in love with someone else and you are the third party there and it's okay sometimes it's a threesome you do what you gotta do because you're happy and that's what makes the world goes wrong once you are happy go for it so what we see here with the love triangle the same sex relationship and love triangle is that communication is there people let each other know where they are and they're just saying what is transpiring how they want things to go and it is beautiful because people are just being honest with each other okay let's look at the burnet ladies and these are yeah the ladies with black hair brown hair <gasps> okay so the message comes out oh there's a lot okay so okay organization seeing the truth help is going to be coming in okay so what i'm seeing with you ladies is that you ladies are or people between the ages of 25 and 45 you're kind of going back and front back and front back and front what is it that i like because it's mars and venus okay mars and venus is your drifting you're drifting you don't know what you want you don't know where you want to be you don't know if you want to be in this relationship so what we're doing basically for you guys you need to find balance okay because you don't know what it is that you want you're drifting you're drifting in and out you're not sure if you want to be here you're not sure if you want to do this so you're kind of drifting in and out whatever is transpiring so what we're going to basically do is that the her the elephant some of you are going to be connecting with organizations so you could be um online dating and that sort of a thing and then you're going to be finding um you know ways and means where people through organization is going to be connecting you with other people so i'm seeing like people between the ages of um 25 and 45 that you're trying to find love through connecting via an organization which is you know it could be online online dating and people are going to be and and it can be very looks you know some some people could be going for the looks version of uh, people coming up and helping you um where they um they pair you and match you and and match you up and and, and it, you know it's okay it's okay because you know you can't find the right person yourself and if there's a good organization go right ahead and get in it okay all right okay transition transition is going on um in some of you who are in long-term relationship um transition could be going on anyway let's go ahead and see what is coming out with jupiter and mercury inspiration with the kids what is happening for that And please leave a message as to how you feel. Please leave a message as to how you feel about this reading, because I think this is much more different. So a whole lot of you are inspired in having kids, okay? And if you are in a relationship, um, you're inspired in having kids, okay? So it is a yes. So if you're deciding to speak um you are so loving so nurturing you would be a very good mother and i think your partner is going to see that within you you are aware and you're ready to be that person to um you know open up your life to 
an extra person because you are loving and nurturing and it's gonna happen okay and I'm seeing that whoever you decide to have this child with I'm seeing that this relationship is going to be lasting for a very long time you're gonna be a very good mother do not worry about that I see your spirit guides are going to be helping you so you know if you were having problems of you know conceiving go watch the magical um, mystery reading and that is going to be helping you as you listen to it you think about getting pregnant ask the, your guides and angels to send you that blessing and you will okay so you might get pregnant by um, the end of the month okay so your reading is going to be a little bit longer because I was gabbling at the beginning okay all right so we have day 10 Mars Mars um, Mars in the moon okay and we have dating so we see a lot of dating going on is there anything going to come out of this dating for the Capricorns I'm seeing um okay all right so whoever is dating especially the ladies and I mean like some of you could be dating okay because um what is coming up here is the emperor so I'm saying people are dating powerful people and they're actually taking them out to dinner and you're enjoying but it's not gonna last long okay so I see I see a lot of you dating like people in power um people who have powerful position um they are giving you a lot um they're supporting you um you know you're dating a lot but it's not gonna last for um, a long time so don't 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 have the thing in your head as if yeah it's going to it's just for the time being it's short-term dating okay it's not gonna last magician is in the reverse so let it go it's not gonna last just enjoy the moment because it's not gonna last so there's a lot of dating going on because i'm looking at the dating queens and the dating queens you guys are could have some luck in dating because there's a lot of dating going on what is happening for the capricorn dating queens okay so i'm seeing a lot of you um dating and uh, I think there was something that you weren't seeing before with someone who you're dating and uh, you're gonna decide you know you're dating someone but there's always conflicts you know and uh, you know it's like competition there's a lot of competition that is going on and you're seeing the competition that you're not the only one in their lives and you're going to um, sit and decide in this month do I really want to be in that because there's a lot of competition the seven is a competition and the five is a competition okay so you're gonna really want to uh, to, to to think do I want to be um, in this um, where I am a part of a competition and you're gonna choose not because you know Capricorns are you know you guys if it comes to love and someone can't love you for who you are you're like I don't want to be in this competition hey you know this <laughs> look it so hot so um no I'm not seeing this happening um but this is the position that you're in some of you are dating and you re you're going to be finding out that there are others it's as if it's a competition and you're going to stand back and choose another route and uh, um just let it go because you're going to think no i really don't want to be in a competition um dating anyone if you're dating you're dating me i don't want to stand around waiting for you dating so that's coming up okay fun times let's see what's happening in fun times eight of wands i'm seeing a lot of you are connected so the people who are having like fun times you know going out and enjoying i'm seeing a lot of a lot of uh, options out there 88 888 and listen um whatever is happening 
Cap is, there's a lot of money mixing here. Infinity. Whoever you're meeting, these people are going to be lasting in your life for a very long time. So some of you are having some real fun times with people. I am seeing um the eight. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing uh some of you are having fun time with a Sagittarian. And I'm seeing you moving towards a Pisces, okay? So some of you, a Pisces is moving towards you. They're leaving the Sagittarian and moving towards you. So whatever has been happening and transpiring, um, a Pisces or so could, you know, you could be having some fun times and realizing um, a Pisces is leaving a Sagittarian and moving towards you. For some of you, a Sagittarian might be coming towards you. A Sagittarian might be still in love with you, especially women 45 years and older. You could have left a Sagittarian um, for a Pisces, but the Sagittarian is still in love with you. So ladies 45 years and older, um, there was this riffling between you and a Sagittarian. You could have been married to a Sagittarian and uh, um, you're in, with a Pisces now, but I'm seeing and that it could be an ex or your ex-husband, but this person still loves you, okay? So some of you could be um, meeting, if you're 45 years and older, you could be meeting a Sagittarian or a Pisces, okay? So, because it's a time of unmutting. So with the fun times, you're going to be meeting a Sagittarian or a Pisces, okay? Uh, yeah. Okay. So be aware of that. Okay. So we have, um, so we, so we definitely, definitely have, uh, I am seeing that some of you are going to be divorcing a young Pisces, Cancer or Scorpion or, um, yeah. So you young people between the age of 18 and 45 you might be divorcing a you definitely you might be divorcing a pisces cancer or scorpion okay because this pisces cancer or scorpion has bring a lot of burdens in your life okay so i'm seeing you turning your back so you taurus uh, you capricorns um between the age of 18 and 45 i'm seeing you turning your backs to a pisces cancer or scorpion because they have cost you a lot they have bring some burden some issues and situation in your life and you're turning your back on this person. So you could be in a relationship with a with, with a with a with a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion. Um, they have brought so many burdens in your life, and you're turning your backs on them. OMG for a personalized reading. Um, please connect with me via the website. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. And please like, share these videos. And um, I'm wishing you guys luck and congratulations to the people who are going to be getting married. I am, a lot of people are going to be asking the ends of marriage. So congratulations to that. Um, some of you, congratulations, congratulations. And um, there is something here that I need to say. It just came back. Okay, so, so there is some love triangle. And uh, if you are in a relationship with a Pisces, you are going to be um, communicating, finding out that they're in love triangle. So you got to be aware of this. And you know something, if you find out that you're in a relationship with someone and they're in other love triangles, drop them, okay? That was something for the love triangles. So if you're in, the, um, not a same sex, but you're, if, uh, because I'm seeing you cutting through something, it's like communication. It's like finding out that your partner, if your partner is a Pisces, because this is a Capricorn and a Pisces, and you're going to cut through, um, the, um, 
if your partner is a Pisces, you're going to be finding out that you have been in a love triangle and you're going to be cutting through this. Okay. So go check out the Pisces reading. I love you guys. Namaste.